This is home for us. This is where we have been born, we have grown up. There's no place like this for us. As a community, we are not ready to move. Mount Creva has always been a fishing community. Um, and I started out as a fisherman. And that was a joyful time. Monk River is in a very dangerous place right now. I mean, it's on a point where people are moving away because of this erosion. We were living out there where the, where the water is now. <laughs> Got the house washed away from there. But... My name is Maria Moschamp. I'm a resident of the community of Monkey River. We started seeing the issues with the erosion on the coastline. What hurts me the most about this whole situation is even after we lost several you know, pieces of properties, we lost a whole football field, um, was the loss of our burial ground. My grandma and my grandfather are now washed out in the sea. You know, their graves are gone. That really hurts. We have been doing our best to try and, and, and keep what we have. I don't want to see any more graves go to the sea, as a lot of my families are still there. Um, my sister, aunts and uncles, cousins, good friends, still there, um, currently threatened by the sea. My mom is, well, she's the reason I decided to become a teacher. Where are they for school? Well, everybody around here, you know, we're related, family members, so it, it's really personal. So that is why I choose, well, I decided to get on the watershed and see what I could do to assist. The Bunker River Watershed Association was mainly formed to address what we are seeing with the erosion on the coastline. As a community, what we started seeing was changes on the river. And we didn't see the kind of sand that used to come out before to replenish what is lost naturally. We have no beach now, but it was, it was really nice having a beach where you can walk around and enjoy the view of the sun rising. <laughs> My call is to try and see what I can do to improve, to better manage then what we have because it's easier to manage what you have than to restore what you lost. So I had to get involved with the Watershed Association. In 2017, we were able to implement our first project. The pilot for the stabilization, the coastline using the geotubes. The Watershed Data Geotube project where they installed some geotubes in front of the village. Um, basically, that was uh, like a stabilization method to assist with some of the villagers who were at risk of losing their homes. The GEF Small Grants Program provides financial and technical resources to civil society organizations to implement community-driven action for global impact. I was able to nurture further relationships with the residents of Monk River, including understanding their plight, their concerns with the erosion, the loss of homes, the loss of their livelihoods, the loss of biodiversity. The degradation of watershed in general is at an alarming rate. 
uh, being degraded and for me that is extremely concerning. What I see with the erosion, I would hope that they can stabilize it, you know, put something on rocks, sand to stabilize the, 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 the beach. Once it's stabilized, then they, they can do other projects to help that. Waves on the sand was coming inside the downstairs and run through all the way to the back. So what happened, the guys took some rocks that government gave us some boulders and small ones and they put them just in wheelbarrow and boat and throw them in front to help to build back a little bit of the sand so we know that the boulders would work. Monkey River Village is one of those coastal communities that we prioritize. A coastal fishing community located on the southern eastern part of Belize, a small Creole community living in harmony with nature. Monk River is not responsible for the climate crisis, yet they are the ones that are suffering the greatest loss and damage. What we need is climate justice. I want to get Monkey River back on the map. <laughs> Monkey River exists. It's a beautiful place. The natural resource is here for us to use, not abuse and misuse. Because without them, we can't exist. If we can address what we are seeing, Monk River can be here for another 100 years. <laughs>